Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, October 12, 2021 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Ever looked at your web server logs and found some odd entries that don't really look like, well, HTTP requests? I did publish today a quick sample of things that I typically run into and explaining why you may run into these entries. This happens more often if your uh, web server is listening on odd port. That's also used by other services. For example, the Android debug protocol, uh, that's uh, very often still scanned, even though it hasn't really been exploitable in any somewhat recent version in of Android. On the other hand, uh, sometimes you also have, of course, users that are creative and uh, move uh, SH servers uh, to odd ports that are also used by web servers. Well, uh, the bad guys are on to you. And uh, I do see, for example, some SSH scans uh, hitting web servers. And with that, you sort of got uh, some of the characteristic uh, strengths there in your web server logs. I also included a couple of strings that uh, I have no idea what uh, they're trying uh, to accomplish or what they're associated with. Uh, one uh, reader on Twitter noted that it may be actually the line printer daemon. So a uh, common uh, printing service for Unix systems. A lot of uh, printers uh, are exposing that. Maybe it's just someone looking for uh, exposed printers to print documents on it. That has often been done as a prank. Of course, there isn't really uh, much else that an attacker could do with that. And Apple today released one of its, well, uh, recently somewhat common emergency updates for iOS and iPad OS. This brings uh, both up to 15.0.2 and it fixes a single vulnerability, an IO mobile frame buffer overflow CVE 2021-3088-3. The reason we get this update is as before, uh, this has already uh, been exploited out in the wild. Shortly after the patch was released, a security researcher Sar Amar uh, did uh, use the Bindiff utility to uh, compare the old new version of iOS as well as other tools in order to essentially reverse engineer what the problem is and create a working proof of concept exploit for this. So this is something that you probably should not delay patching, uh, get that patch out there. It has so far only been used in targeted attacks, but with all the information that's out there now, uh, expect this to trickle down uh, likely. Creating good random numbers is hard and often goes wrong. The latest example is a key pair library that is apparently being used uh, to create SH key pairs. One uh, important use of this library was a Git GUI client, uh, Git Kraken, that apparently is also used uh, with GitHub quite a bit. So uh, GitHub now went ahead and uh, revoked any keys that were created with Git Kraken uh, because of uh, the weak random numbers used in creating these keys, which essentially makes these keys guessable. So if you use Git Kraken to generate any SH keys, uh, please swap them out uh, if uh, GitHub hasn't already taken care of this for you. And talking about uh, keys and encryption, uh, Let's Encrypt apparently is having uh, some issues this evening and unable uh, to issue new certificates. So if you ran into this, uh, that's the reason it's not uh, your problem. Shouldn't really be too much of a problem if you're renewing certificates because the standard clients are renewing certificates with ample time to spare. Uh, but if you, of course, just set up a new site, need a Let's Encrypt certificate, uh, no luck for you. The old version one of the API still seems to be up. Uh, not sure how usable uh, that is for you, but uh, this may be a way uh, to get started uh, until uh, Let's Encrypt fixed uh, this problem. And we do have an update to Google Chrome. It fixes four vulnerabilities. And as usual, just let Google do its auto update thing. 
That's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.